Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to week two of Vlogmas. I hope you're all doing really well. If you're new here, hello, hi. My name is Simone, and if you're returning, welcome back to week number two of Vlogmas. So my plans over Vlogmas is not to, well, is to film every day, but not to post every day. So I will actually film Vlogmas on a weekly basis. I just feel like it will just be so much easier for me, especially because it's my first Vlogmas and I'm not trying to overwhelm myself. So for anyone who is new here, I will actually be posting Vlogmas. Um, I'll actually be posting videos twice a week, one week, one day Vlogmas and one day normal content. So that is a bit of a FYI um, in case you're new here or in case you didn't know. So yes, today is Saturday and I am actually, I don't know whether you can tell by my voice or my appearance, but I am feeling so, so rough today. But yeah, the time is half 10 and I just jumped in the shower, came out. I've actually not even got my bottoms on. They're here. And I thought, you know what? If I jump in the shower, it will wake me up. And I actually picked up a new face mask in TK Maxx the other day. So I got this hydration face mask. They have the best deals on face masks. And this Dr. Jart face mask was literally $5.99. And these are so good. These are probably like £12 in Selfridges, just saying. So if you need some stocking filler ideas, I got this one and I also got the firming mask. So I actually want to do this hydration one today because I feel really dehydrated. I may have drank a bit too much yesterday and yeah, I'm just tired. Need to eat something. So what I'm going to do is this face mask. The thing with this face mask, it is 30 to 40 minutes you need to leave it on for. So it is quite a while. Um... The only thing is I get very nervous that as soon as I put this on, the doorbell's gonna ring and I'm gonna get a delivery. But let's hope that's not gonna happen. Okay, so the first step is to cleanse and I have already just washed my face and I'm wondering whether I should turn. Should I tone? Yeah, I'm gonna tone. So for toning, I'm using the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I'm so sorry if you've clicked on this video and was not expecting an impromptu skincare routine, but I just feel like I desperately need this in my life right now. I promise we're gonna move on real soon. But for all my skincare lovers, you already know the deal. Hydration is key. And I always do a hydration mask or hydration focused skincare after a night of drinking. So you might wanna consider that in your life. So the mask actually comes in two sections. This is the first bit that I need to apply first. I am gonna apply, it's like a white gel. Oh my God. It's, I don't, is this meant to be like the serum? I'm trying to work out what mask I used before because I don't remember doing this. That is the rubber-like mask that's gonna go on your face next. Oh my God. That's like instantly cooling. It's so nice. I may have scratched the other one up a bit trying to get it out of the packaging. Yeah, I may have ripped it slightly, but that's okay. We move. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So now that the face mask is on, it does need to stay on for a minimum of half an hour. So I've just checked the time. Guys, I feel so rough, it's a joke. Um, but I love these two-step masks, by the way. It just feels like it's doing an extra bit of oomph to your face. And the rubber mask, I find so much better than the actual uh, fabric mask because this is just so so like instantly cooling like it's just so instant i just love how cool like i've actually got a skincare fridge in the corner that i need to switch on and start putting product in it because this coming out the fridge on a really hot day would literally be the one i actually need to brush my teeth 
I wonder if I'm going to be able to brush it with this on. This is so, so dry. So guys, while I put this mask on, I have a lot of editing to do today. I hate editing and posting on the same day. I actually need to put my bottoms on as well. Um, this tracksuit set is actually in a video I've got dropping. It's probably already dropped at this point. It's the PLT Sport Sweat Joggers and sweat shirt and it's the most comfortable thing i've ever bought and i'm absolutely loving it so i'm actually going to start the day off with some washing because i have got this is literally my laundry bin right now overflowing with stuff i'm actually just going to take the whole bin downstairs so now that i'm down here i realize i do need to do a bit of a speed clean so i'm going to do that do some washing find i need i'm so hungry i need to cook or order food and i need to make a decision real fast uh craig's gone to football so it's literally just me but i've literally got so much to do and i'm trying to stay focused but my brain's all over the place okay speed clean first hair is looking a little bit better i am gonna pop my clothes into piles because that is the most fun job as today gets and do some washing i've just put one of the throws in the washing machine at the minute so that's what you can hear and i actually need to order some food right guys so i have now completed my 30 minutes with the mask so i'm gonna go take it off and let me show you guys actually i never got to show you guys the radiator cover that i built so here's the radiator cover that i purchased and put together myself i have got two prints there that i wanted to put over the radiator cover however i don't know whether i want to put a print now or a mirror so watch this space um these are the two vases that i picked up from nordic nest and i love how nice they look on this and i still have not super glued that reindeer antler back on the reindeer i just ordered a burrito as well so jesus christ those stairs up never get easier there we go Whew. skin is feeling so nice oh my god that is actually i should wash my hands because i was just using cleaning oh my god my skin feels so nice and hydrated like it actually feels more plump which is great so now that i have done that i'm actually going to add more hydration products because why the hell not i'm hydrated so i might as well keep on top of it so i'm going to use i just use my Badescu's. um this is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and i love how refreshing it feels and then i'm gonna go in with clinique moisture surge because we need a surge of moisture today and i think that is all i'm gonna do today in terms of skincare so guys i just realized we haven't done today's advent calendar so i'm literally gonna have a look now at day number five and we have voila tarte cosmetics smoothing primer base loving 
which is really exciting i've actually never used uh, tarte cosmetics before but i've heard a lot of great things about them so that is day number five so i will show you guys what we have so far in case you're catching up day one day two day three day four and day five so we've got our hello fresh delivery for the week and i can never remember what's in each box i always get so excited when we have a new hello fresh delivery so we usually do three meals and these are the meals that we've chosen this week not the biggest fan of prawns but i and we've got a fancy steak night but these come in handy so much because we never really do much cooking here so hello fresh is the most cooking that we do and if it wasn't for hello fresh we would be having a very boring meal quality is also amazing if you've not tried hello fresh before the food always tastes unreal like i'm always so impressed by the meals the only thing with hello fresh is they send us a whole head of garlic every single time we need to use like one clove so it racks up because i just love the convenience of using garlic paste instead so it's so easy like when it comes to cooking you literally find the number on the menu go for the number that's on there and it has everything you need to cook and yeah it's just so so convenient for us especially as it's only the two of us <laughs> festive menu at starbucks the new truffle deluxe hot chocolate yeah. so i feel like i never get festive drinks and i'm gonna try one today yeah please thank you yep thank you bye jeez so we have the first festive drink of the year which is the starbucks toffee nut latte with whipped cream and i'm excited to give this a try so i got my starbucks now so i'm very happy um i don't actually always go for festive drinks because i always find they're either too sweet or just too many calories but i thought today is the day where i'm gonna explore my taste buds a little bit um i usually always get an extra hot skinny flat white that is my coffee shop go-to um and i've also been loving the oat milk flat whites because oat milk is just amazing but today i tried something completely different um so the toffee nut latte skinny version made me feel a tiny bit better because i got it in skinny but i've got all of the whipped cream on top as well um it's really nice actually didn't think i'd like it as much because i don't really like artificial flavors in coffees but i think i may have made the right decision here so we are actually heading to a spa for the weekend we actually had this spa voucher for a whole year and we had to cancel three times because of the whole situation this year and originally we had booked to go no boo shortage but that got cancelled twice and then where did we book to go after that i guess we booked to go no boo, no boo three times can't remember but finally getting to use this spa voucher it was actually a gift i got last christmas and it expires literally in like 
the next month so I'm glad I was able to use the voucher finally so we're gonna do an overnight trip at Lifehouse Spa and this one I've actually been to before so before I got married my mum and I had a little girls weekend at Lifehouse Spa so we booked to go there again so we're now just driving to the spa it's gonna take us now roughly 36 minutes from where we are now and yeah I'm looking forward to having a treatment and just having some downtime relaxing I'll try and vlog here and there this is a nice start to December I have to admit and yeah really excited I have not had a massage in over a year which is actually frustrating because I feel like my muscles absolutely need a massage right about now you booked the wrong day to go to this spa <laughs> why? it's the North London Derby it's December again. I can't believe it. Whatever happened to the rest of the arrived so nice to be like somewhere other than inside the house you not think so nice and peaceful I was genuinely expecting to see way more people like walking around and you know checking in but it is literally so quiet yeah but there's loads of cars in the car parks so I'm not sure why well, I'm not sure why. Well, I do know why. Loads of people are clearly here. Are there? Help me find the Christmas spirit again. The Christmas spirit again. in and our room is ready um yeah so the rooms here are fairly basic to be fair um but a good size compared to some hotels i've stayed at before do you not think uh the best part of the room is the view so pretty out there I stayed here was with my mum oh my god I just spotted the mirror the mirror looks so cute um yeah the last time I was here was actually with my mum um before I got married so we had a little girls weekend here just the two of us which was really nice um here is the bathroom um I'm not doing a full detailed room tour here but just a quick show around um yeah so we are now going to check out our itinerary and see what is actually going down today. Day 15, we've got our massages at the same time. So we're doing the signature full body massage. And I actually just want to check if they've got any more space to do a facial. I am contemplating treating myself to a little facial today because my skin is looking a bit rough. It's just that time of the month. I'm walking around. So we've literally just come out for a little bit of golden hour photos. Hair looks so unreal, guys. It's actually ridiculous although the floor is a bit slippery and Craig nearly went flying when he got up on here um, it was actually kind of funny <laughs> so yeah I managed to book my nails for tomorrow morning sadly there was nothing left at the end of the day today um, I don't think I'm gonna bother with the facial um, so we're gonna have our massages today we're gonna have dinner and what is that moving up there I think it's a duck 
squirrel that's definitely not a squirrel that's a duck and there's another one there oh my god this place is so beautiful and all the pampas grass so cute So we are robed up and ready for our massages and I've done the dumbest thing in the world and only brought one pair of boots for my outfit later. So my outfit later has been totally, totally wrecked because I didn't pack the correct shoes. So that's going to be fun trying to rectify and yeah, I'm going to have to probably just wear the boots that I came with. But this is the dress I was planning on wearing later, the shirt dress. And I had a black pair of over the knee boots that I was going to wear with it, but I've only packed one because I'm an absolute idiot. So we're going to head on down now like two little marshmallows with our face masks on. Let's not forget the face mask because I mean that just would not complete any spa experience. There we go. So we will see you guys in a few. We started something, this thing that we got grew stronger. Each day we're together. On the way, oh, we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. It's true, this part of the year we had something in store for us. Here is the finished look and I mean it's not terrible but it could do with some major blending. Here is the outfit for dinner. Obviously I'm going to have to wear these boots now. Not my over the knee black ones which I wanted to wear but I'm not mad at these. It just means I'm literally all nude nothing no other color to break it all up but that is fine I mean it could be way worse I could have just been in my trainers and then I would have been screwed now the lighting in here is a bit rubbish is this better oh, this is way better so that is the makeup and this was my blending brush I basically opened a cotton pad in half and dab 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 so basically this is a whole dabbed look so yeah anyways I am starving and we need to remember to take our Prosecco vouchers Snow in our hearts We both know that we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear I need to go lay down. <laughs> I'm in the food coma. I've got the itis. How do you feel about the substantial meal until you can get a glass of Prosecco? It's a joke. <laughs> so stuffed. Um, so yeah, I'm not surprised the amount we ate actually. If I go through everything that we ate, we had bread starters. <laughs> alongside normal starters which was a small portion of risotto and Craig had a small portion of mushrooms with chickpea something and then for mains we had sirloin steak chips and rocket salad but alongside that because we are fat pigs had dauphin wild potatoes and a tender stem broccoli to share between us and then on top of that we decided to have dessert well it was included in our package anyway so we both had sticky toffee pudding bear in mind i didn't finish my main or my dessert and then to top it all off we had and a bottle of prosecco to share which we brought the remnants back to the room to chill only half nine and i literally feel like i can pass out our stay has been really really nice and it's just nice to just 
escape for a while it's not the longest of breaks but a break is a break and just knowing that we have had some kind of rest and relaxation chill time chill time together as well so Craig can't go off and pay, play his ps5 I won't go go off and edit like we are actually stuck together tomorrow I am getting my nails done at 10 a.m and then we're gonna check out around 12 we then have a landscaper coming around 3 to have a look at our garden so we should be getting so hopefully we'll find out more about how we can sort the garden out because it is a blank canvas right now and we really want to have like a nice space in the summertime so that is the plan i am closing the spa side of things and i will see you all tomorrow and so it is the next day now we are back at home if you're wondering why the bright lights i actually was just filming a skincare video for my instagram page so i try and do um a few videos a week but i have been majorly slacking on the content so i really do want to up that so i had my nails done this morning so that is what they look like um there is one little sparkly nail and i had a really nice hand massage and had my hands exfoliated i didn't even know this was a thing getting your hands exfoliated but i had that done as well so we did that this morning checked out about 11 now we're back home and i'm so glad i've got the whole day to like do content um i took a few pictures of the living room because we also have a home account so i also want to up the content for that basically i've been slacking a little bit on instagram and yeah i need to really up my content game so that is what i've been doing today to think of it i don't even think i told you guys how my massage was yesterday but it was so amazing like the woman that did my massage i specifically like firm massages and was so amazing time absolutely flew i think the only downside about 2020 is obviously when you get a massage and your and the second half of the massage when you're laying on your back you actually have to put your mask back on now at that point she had put like a warm cloth or something over my eyes and i swear to god i was thinking i'm gonna run out of air at some point it was really difficult to breathe so i had to take like quite big breaths and kind of take my mind off breathing but aside from that the massage was a 10 out of 10 i literally left feeling so invigorated so relaxed and i literally went into one of those um i actually left went into you know the in the spa there's always like this really tranquil room completely blacked out and tons of lounge chairs so I ended up going there after and bumped into Craig. So he had the same massage and had his done in a medium. I'm just feeling so relaxed. But that was our first night away from our house. And I have to say, I was nonstop checking the ring doorbell because I just missed it so much. So yeah, our house is definitely our new baby because I actually missed the bed. The sleep was rubbish last night missed the bed missed everything about the house so it's so nice to be back home we have had a huge dusk order so i'm contemplating whether to change the bed sheets now or to leave it a bit longer just a tiny bit longer but we have a huge dusk haul here which i'll show you guys shortly definitely think we should do some advent calendar revealing and then i will show you guys what we picked up in dusk for our bedroom so in case anyone is curious this is how i have my setup when i'm doing makeup or skincare videos and i know i'm showing you guys this because i also find it really interesting when people show how they have their setup so i've got the standard ring light which i actually got from amazon and two soft lights that are also from amazon so i usually lay all of the skincare items i'm going to use one by one on the desk and yeah it is a bit of a mess but that is kind of how i roll when it comes to filming it's an organized mess and i've got the soft lights facing outwards because i like to brighten up the background a bit so that is the filming setup this was yesterday's gift and it's an eight hour deep repair mask by doctor's formula so i already know this is going to be amazing uh look at the packaging please look at the lid on that that's absolutely brilliant so unique i absolutely love that and 
yeah first i thought it was a hair mask but it's actually marine collagen in there which is really exciting i really want to up my collagen game getting older and all that guys so you know need to keep my skin looking tight and right so today's gift is i think it's day it's not day six it's day seven we've got the good jeans glide colic acid treatment and that's by sunday riley oh my god like this is gonna be amazing that is such a phenomenal brand and no it was just the lid that fell off so there's not two things in there and i'm a bit sad i'm halfway through now already because i am loving these daily skincare gifts over to the dusk haul now we've got literally a whole new bedding set um and we got this in the black friday sale so starting with the base we've got this we got the 200 thread count albany pillowcase and you get a pair in there so we've got two of those because we've got four pillows on the bed so we got the matching albany 200 thread count cotton percal duvet cover in a size super king so i'm absolutely loving white bed sheets at the minute i generally don't think i can go back to having brightly colored or darker bed sheets and that's for a few reasons i feel like a it makes you wash your sheets way more because obviously stains show up quicker b you to remove your makeup before getting into bed and c it just looks and feels like you're at a hotel because you only get white bed sheets when you stay at really nice hotels so i like the whole experience that you get from white bed sheets and we also treated ourselves and this is a huge treat to a super king fitted sheet that's 600 thread counts and has like a cotton sateen finish so i'm really excited to see what the difference is between the 200 and the 600 thread count uh, and i think after the black friday discount this was roughly 35 pounds so it is a splash for a plain white sheet but it is supposed to make you feel like you're sleeping in the utmost of luxury so i am praying that this was a goodbye and that we're gonna get like the best night's sleep and hopefully i can give you guys a good review or a very honest review so those were the bed sheets and again they're all in white and it's the albany range from dusk now we also got a matching throw and pillows for the cushions that go on the bed and we got this in the geneva it has like a velvet finish to it so that is the one of the cushion covers and we've got five cushions on the bed three that are 65 by 65 and two that are 50 by 50 and i love how dramatic the cushions look on the bed and how nice they tie in with the white bed sheet i really wanted to try a new set so i'm really glad we went for this one this is so soft it feels so luxurious it is amazing obviously we don't actually sleep with these on the bed these come off every single night and it's purely there for aesthetic guys but that doesn't mean it can't be soft and sultry so the throw is of course matching the cushion covers so it's going to be nice and cohesive lovely and soft and i literally cannot wait to put it on the bed and show you guys what it looks like so i feel like the days that literally do not go by without a haul from me so hope you enjoyed that mini haul i will link all the items down below and I, as i mentioned they're from dusk and absolutely loving their stuff yep so i'm gonna end the vlog here because i feel like this will be a really long vlog if i don't end it here i'm all glammed up i've got my virtual work christmas party today uh just to let you know guys the next vlog we're making festive cocktails we are baking and we're going to do some really exciting, festive and really Christmassy stuff. So with that being said, look out for Vlogmas week three and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my socials at Simone for all things fashion and beauty and R underscore beautiful underscore home for all of the house updates. And if you follow that page, you actually get updates before i even show it on youtube so there is an incentive for you thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i can't wait to see you all in the next one Mwah.